Texas Governor Rick Perry joins us. Good evening, sir. Hey, Greta, how are you? Very well. What in the world is going on in that political battle, political showdown <laughs> in your state? Well, Greg Abbott uh, is, is spot on when he talks about that uh, uh, his vision for Texas is substantially more in the mainstream of, of Texas thought. Uh, Wendy Davis is pretty far left to center on, on her uh, beliefs. So, and, and it's just a Texas uh, governor's race. I mean, there's lots of uh, strong opinions on both sides. But uh, day in and day out, a uh, fiscal conservative like Greg Abbott is going to carry the day. And, uh, and, and Greg's, been a, Greg's been 20 years now. Uh, he's been the Supreme Court. He's been the Attorney General. Uh, he is a very clear uh, pro-growth, pro-free market type of an individual that uh, Texans are going to be comfortable with. So I, I, um, I, he, he's going to do quite well. I don't think that's the, the, the fight we're seeing. I mean, like that, was, that discussion, discussion you just had was on the issues. What we're seeing is an incredible amount of mudslinging where on the one side, the state senator Wendy Davis had some problems apparently fudging her bio, and, and that's gone sort of Texas-style big all over the state. Then you've got the remarks and you know, the, the code remarks about the use of the word stand, and I don't know if that was code for the fact that, the, that Greg Abbott's in a wheelchair, but certainly um, once uh, that sort of became uh, you know, an issue. It would have been polite for her to call and say, "Look, I had nothing to do with it. I never, in a million years, would intend." But said, "This has gotten down and dirty." Well, I, I think you, you'll see that happen from time to time when uh, there is a clear front runner in this race. Greg Abbott is uh, the clear front runner. He's going to win the race, uh, and uh, a lot of people will try to stir up something just to, uh, you know, get a story going, Greta. But uh, the key is that uh, uh, Texas is doing really well. But they're really taking well. the bait. Uh, but but they're both taking the bait. I mean, it's like you know, we've got Wendy Davis's daughters responding in an op-ed today. Um, I mean, they're definitely taking the bait. Actually, I, I don't. I don't think Greg Abbott has. I, I have seen him be an absolute and total gentleman uh, about this in, in every form or fashion. So, you know, he's the he's the candidate, and the candidates are the ones that people are going to pay attention to. So, I, I don't think Texans get uh, confused about this. We've got a state: 250,000 jobs created in the last 12 months, from December to December 12 to 13. Uh, and we, we like what we're seeing here from the standpoint of where this state is going, uh, the job creation, the, uh, the, the environment in the state of Texas is very powerful for people. Uh, you know, whether you're at the, the lower strata, you have opportunities to move upward and be upwardly mobile in the state of Texas. That's what people are, are, are focused on. The media has fun with this, and they follow it, and they, uh, you know, pitch their barbs and what have you, and sometimes uh, folks take the bait, but by and large, uh, this state is very happy with the leadership that they've seen, and Greg Abbott is a continuation of that pro-growth, pro-free uh, market side of things. So is the national media the only one then that's focusing on the food fight, and in Texas, is, are people focusing on the substantive issues? Is that what you're saying? Well, I think there's a little bit more of that, most likely, than, uh, than, than may catch the eye from, from Washington or, or New York City. So uh, yes. I'll be real honest with you. I didn't even, I didn't even know they had had a food fight <laughs> until right, I let me ask started you this. listening to All the right. program working up. State of the Union, um, State of the Union President is going to talk about jobs. And in the last 10 years, 3 in 10 jobs created were in Texas. You've got 30 seconds. What's the trick? Well, it's all about taxes and regulatory policy and, and a legal system. You put good, thoughtful policies in place. States are the laboratory of innovation. We're the ones that uh, uh, are creating the jobs in America. And that's what the president ought to talk about is that if, if we want to free up this country to really explode economically, you let the laboratories of innovation, the states, lead that charge, not Washington, D.C. and their one-size-fits-all policies. Governor, thank you, and thank you for being with us.